The Royal Adelaide Hospital involves six years of complex construction and is a 30-year private-public partnership backed by financiers from around the world. And now it's SA's nerve centre for the management of the COVID-19 challenge. Much has been written and said about the biggest infrastructure project in South Australian history. But how did it perform during one of the state's biggest health crises? For Central Adelaide Local Health Network CEO Leslie Dwyer, when the chips were down, it was all systems go at the new RA. Thanks to her team's effort and the work of the hospital's management consortium led by Celsus. We really worked together so well as a team. It didn't matter whether you were from Celsus or Spotless or from Central Adelaide, but in fact, we were all focused on the same thing. We were all at times finding our way because it was something we haven't responded to before. But South Australia's response has been remarkable with one of the first testing centres in the world established here. The design and facilities at the Royal Adelaide Hospital made it the logical choice to receive and treat all COVID-19 patients requiring hospital care in South Australia. Very early we were asked to set up a COVID testing clinic and what we didn't want were people who perhaps may have been at risk of COVID coming through our facility and mingling with our patients. But because the building has been built the way it is, we were able to decant from this area, which was a public facing area, and then have actually been able to set up this COVID response. You know, at the height of the pandemic, we were actually seeing up to 200 people a day through this clinic and we continue to use it because we do want to encourage people to continue to come and be tested. The job's not yet done. The small number of deaths here in SA stand as a stark reminder of the potentially tragic consequences of this insidious disease. In a pandemic, knowledge is power. And at the new RA, the building's design and IT support mean Celsius managers like Greg Wenham remain on top of their brief. So we can bring up the properties of that room and it tells us the set point, temperature set point, which is 20 to and a half degrees. Right. So you can monitor every room? Every room can be monitored. If there's an issue, it will alarm and the engineering team can respond. The new RAS design is all about ensuring South Australians get the best care as soon as possible. When a rescue chopper arrives, it lands atop a vertical stack of expertise and high acuity facilities. The helipads have direct access below to intensive care units, technical suites, the blood bank, laboratories and the emergency department with its resuscitation rooms and various diagnostic services. Everything is about access to care, getting uh, the patient to the right place at the right time, being looked after by the right people. South Australia's response to COVID-19 has set national and global benchmarks and has provided blueprints for others to follow. This is one of the many intensive care units. Many of the hospital's unique features have been specifically designed for the delivery of elite health care during a pandemic. The air conditioning system is set up in such a way that you can isolate areas and then have air conditioning that only works in a special way in dedicated areas. So it's called pandemic mode. That enables us to further isolate patients and protect other patients around them. Terms like isolation and social distancing are now part of everyday language. But they were concepts integral to the early design of this facility. That design is now embraced by the nurses and other healthcare workers who are at the front line in the battle against the virus. Every room in this hospital um, is a single room, which um, enables patients to be really admitted anywhere in the hospital, although we did have our specific um, COVID wings, but it reduces the risk um, of infection and cross-contamination by people being able to be in, in their own room and in their own environment. For Rebecca, a world-class facility has been enhanced by a world-class team approach in a time of crisis. The hospital has performed remarkably from both a facility perspective, um, but also just the way that the teams have come together. So the teams from Celsius, from Spotless and our nursing staff um, really sort of come together um, as one team to make sure that you know, we're delivering really great care um, to the patients and the people coming to the hospital for, for reasons of COVID. As you wander through, you pass through external and internal green spaces and internal courtyards 
Acres and acres of space so vital for social distancing. And down below, the delivery of essential hotel services is done in a way that enhances safety. During a pandemic, it's essential that health workers minimise the amount of human contact in a hospital of this size. These automated guided vehicles, or AGVs, are ferrying supplies, food, linen, to wherever it needs to go. It's another design feature that's seen the new Ra shine during the COVID-19 pandemic. The entire hospital has stepped up when needed. Now, the Royal Adelaide ICU has seen more patients than most other ICUs in Australia. It's been our uh, central plank of our COVID-19 response in South Australia. This is a new century hospital for a once in a century pandemic. Uh, it's particularly well suited in terms of having single rooms, a high level of infection control. Uh, both the public and the private sector come together at the New Royal Adelaide Hospital with our partnership with Celsius uh, and with Spotless. Uh, this, the, the whole team, the whole hospital has worked together to respond to what has been a very challenging environment. And it shone as an example for others contemplating similar public-private partnerships in the future, thanks to the equity investors and debt financiers from around the globe who source the finances through Celsius to design, construct and operate the hospital. We represent international investors who've brought to bear their experience around the world. So our partners have done over 50 hospitals worldwide. Um, this is a standout facility from their point of view, from the design, but also the operations. And I think uh, it's a great testament to all the people involved that it's performed so well in this pandemic. But perhaps the last word should go to one who's still steering us through uncharted waters. We can't be complacent. We didn't know what to expect with COVID. We were looking at what was happening overseas and we are still looking to say, are there some lessons to be learned in case we get a second wave? I think South Australia has done brilliantly and what we have been able to do is use the assets that we have, such as the building, but a true asset is the partnerships that we have in the way that we deliver care. So I describe it as a moment where this building has really come into its own. We've learnt to love it. <laughs>